Hi, I'm Eric Martin from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Katharina Stoll from Pegasus Spiele. We're looking at Marco Teubner's Hook. Hook. Not from Hook, though. From Pegasus. Yes. And uh, this is a non-final component, so we're just showing off the game. We'll find out how it works. Yeah, this is a very, very easy game. It's all about pirates, and it has every single pirate cliche in the world in there. Excellent. So when when the game starts, each player has um, a stack of these cards. In the final game, there will be much, much more, but we have just some sample cards, which are also, which are also rather shiny, I <laughs> see. Um, and in the beginning of the game, each player turns one of them like this. So there are as many of these as players are included. Then each player takes these, which he needs to aim at the cards. And then everyone throws them in at once. So you choose, choose one of them. and. Put them on top of oh. of your individual one, not on. No, on that doesn't have to be mine. I can put it on whichever I want. Yeah. Okay. And um, the thing is that only those symbols that are showing through will be will be the ones that are important for the next ah. yeah, game. Yeah. Oh, that's quite a good move. I'll explain why yes. later. <laughs> I try to be helpful that way. Um, Playing like a fool. <laughs> mm, um, <clears throat> on the cards, there are uh, there are. I was about to say pirates, but they are parrots, and they are victory points in this game, because as a pirate you want to have as many parrots as possible. Um, then there are the faces of other pirates, so when this one is out in the end, I'll throw a cannonball at this pirate. And um, so you take one of these tokens, in the final game they will actually be round, and put them on this thing down here. Okay. And if you got hit nine times, you're out of the game. But luckily there is rum, and if you drink a bottle of rum, uh, one of this will go back, so you feel better right away. Okay. And then there's things like um, like barrels where you can hide and so on and so on. But what's also important, there are cards with bombs on them. They have lots and lots of pirates, no, parrots. <laughs> so they're very, very um, interesting, but as soon as a bomb is peeking through, just as did it. Um, the whole thing is closed, so you don't get any parrots this round, and everybody loses one life. So okay. uh, those cards are very valuable, but dangerous because there are the bombs on them. Okay. Yeah, and the game is very fast, and the best thing is that everyone makes lots and lots of mistakes. So you think this is perfect, and you put it on top, and nothing shines through. It's just empty spaces. Everyone will, yeah. Laugh. So are we trying to kill everyone else? Or are we trying yeah. to score points, or both? I guess. Both. Both. Of course. Uh, yeah, you want to, to kill everyone else, basically. <laughs> but if this doesn't work, it's fine to have lots of parrots. Okay. And how do you track the parrots score? Um, you, just you just take the cards with the parrots on them. Okay. So as soon as there's one parrot looking through, you can take the whole card and we'll get every single parrot. Ah, okay. okay, that's very good. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Thank you.